Welcome to the step-by-step -step guide on how to connect OpenCPN with a Quarkalec CPA-8026 wireless AIS and GPS receiver. Let's get started. First, we need to ensure that all of the relevant connections are made. In this case, this includes a power source, AIS antenna, a GPS antenna, and also a Wi-Fi antenna. This will be in the same fashion as with normal operation. Next, ensure that the device you're using OpenCPN on is connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your AIS receiver. In this case, the A026 is in ad hoc mode, meaning that it has created its own network that I can connect to. Now that we have the receiver's connections made and your PC is on the same network as the receiver, we can load up OpenCPN. Once open, navigate to the toolbar on the left hand side of the screen. The second button, Options, is what we need. When this window opens, we then need to go to connect. This is where you can add, edit, or remove various connections. We have the option to set up a serial or network connection. For now, we are focusing on network. Once selected, the required fields will become visible. The settings we are using here can be found in the configuration tool or the manual of the AO26, also shown on screen. So please be aware that the exact settings you need to enter may not be as we have done in this video. Under user comment, I've put the product name, but this is just for reference purposes only. Once done, click apply, check that the connection we have just created is enabled, and then click OK. A key point to always check first is the GPS fix. This can be found in the top right of the screen in the form of signal files. In our demonstration, you will see AIS targets appear instantly. As we are located inland, we are using a simulator, so it may take a moment or two for targets to appear on the screen. By right-clicking on our target and selecting Target Query, you will be shown information such as MMSI, vessel size, GPS, heading, and time since last transmission. All of this information can be crucial in staying safe in the waters. You can also open a list of all AIS targets in range to see all the information in one screen. Along the top of the screen is your dashboard. This can be tailored to show any information you desire or are able to input into it. Please remember, OpenCPN and similar software should only be used as a navigational aid and not as your primary navigation source. Please keep your eyes on our social media platforms for more episodes on OpenCPN to come. And as always, stay safe and happy sailing.